Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining me here on Music with Todd Ledbetter. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out some new music, or at least music I haven't heard before, which... You know, if you're new here, what we're doing here is basically I'm listening to the music that you guys recommend. So you guys tell me what you think I might like or um, a favorite song of yours that you want me to uh, react to. And that's what we're doing every blue moon once in a while. Not very often. I'll throw in something of my own. Uh, it happens, though. But mostly it's all coming from you guys and you're recommending uh, the songs. And that's what's driving the song selection on the channel. And you guys are great. I tell you what, man, so much good music. You guys are just blowing me away with some of the some of the finds and just some of your favorites that I've never heard of or maybe heard of. I knew of the band. I heard of them and never listened to them, though, or whatever it might be. So they just really I just get a big kick out of it. And it just keeps me going because I can't believe how much music is out there that's so good that I have yet to still hear. So uh, today is no exception. We're going to be taking another subscriber recommendation. And this uh, band is uh, Bass Communion. And the album is called Bass Communion. And it's, <clears throat> it's a 2001 five song release. Five songs, one hour and three minutes. Five songs. So we got uh, Shopping, a minute 24. Drugged, which is the song we're going to listen to today. Uh, that's the one recommended. Uh, 13 minutes and 35 seconds. And then Sleep, etc. 13 minutes and 29 seconds. Then we got a 10 minute and 16 song called Orphan Cole. And then, oh, Drug the Long Version. Oh, gosh. We're doing the long version. That, that's just, you know, not fair. Uh, we have to do the long version. I can't just not do the 13 minute and 25 second. You guys ready for 25 minutes? I hope so. And I'll know if you leave because it'll show on my analytics. So I know you guys will stick around. Hopefully this is good. I'm really, really looking forward to an epic, long, epic song. You know, I love long songs. There's so much time to develop music and develop the song. Take it into different areas where, you know, just help, takes the listener with you. Oh, man. So let's get right into it. Why don't we? Check out Bass Communion, the song Drugged. Those are harmonicas. Wow. Maybe. be a trumpet too lots of stuff
That's definitely a trumpet. be a long lost Pink Floyd song. trumpet is just telling a story just telling a story all faded out. like direct signal right to the satellite we're hearing right now. clarinets whatever those instruments are such chaos just into calmness
something about the clean Stratocaster sound with a little tremolo effect on it. It's seriously one of my favorite sounds on the guitar. that's the end of the uh, edited version or whatever and since we're listening to the uh, long version I don't know if it's cut up or mixed up in a different way but this would seem like a natural ending and then a continuation to come I wasn't expecting music like this at all so interesting the way it the effects it has on your mind and what it makes you think about. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, maybe I didn't play the long version. Ah, you know what? Because I went to... Oh. Okay, so because I went to... Um, YouTube to play it, I didn't... I just clicked on it. I didn't switch it to the long version because I already had the video up and then when I noticed it was the long version on the album on Spotify I didn't make any adjustments okay so well you've got homework to do let's just put it that way I mean that was pretty interesting uh in a real calming at first it was just uh, not calming it was it was it was weirdly calming and weirdly chaotic in the beginning um a lot of interesting sounds. I mean, I, I was hearing like harmonica and trumpet and clarinet and violin and just, you know, and like the, it seemed like the trumpet and the, the, to start off the uh, almost like the harmonica sound in the very beginning was a little bit chaotic. But when that trumpet really got wailing, it was against the backdrop of the a little more calm sort of uh, clarinet sort of sounding instrument. Uh, it really sounded like he was just telling a story that just needed to be told and he needed to tell it with passion, uh, just almost in, in tears at points. It seemed like um, just like almost crying out. Uh, it, it didn't matter what anybody thought of him. He was just going to play that trumpet and tell the world what's happening. Uh, that was very, very interesting. And then as the talk about taking the time to develop even on a 13 and a half minute song um you know they really did take their time to build that up and then slowly but ever so slowly you know some of the synths and the keyboards would come in and that took minutes to to come in and then finally the keyboard pads kind of took over uh as the trumpet sort of died away but the clarinet still just kind of kept being almost like a like almost like a songbird up in a tree uh you know, just kept on chirping. And uh, and then you get the strum of that, which sounded like a Stratocaster to me. Uh, 
<clears throat> just that clean vibrato effect on it. I love that so much. Like I said, it's one of my favorite, favorite sounds. I've used it so many times on recordings I've done and I still and play live. I use that sound so much. Um, I don't know. It's just that simple strum and just that vibrato there. And oh, just I don't know why I love it. Always have always have loved that sound. And that kind of was a little added addition, sort of a building to the song as it really kind of climaxed there towards the end with, you know, the the keyboards, the, the pad part was really getting intense too. the intensity along with the sort of the orchestral section, if you will, uh, was was building up intensity. But the keyboards really were as well. It, the trumpet part and that whole chaotic part reminds me of my friend Jeff uh, Kaiser. Jeff Kaiser, uh, he's got like 40 albums on Spotify. Look him up. And I interviewed him early in my channel. You can go down to the very beginning of my channel and go up a couple of weeks and look for Jeff Kaiser. And you can see an interview I did with him that was, I think, well over an hour. And he is a trumpet player as well. And he does some really, I don't know what you call the music, avant-garde, sort of experimental uh, you know, music using his trumpet and a lot of breath and blowing and making noises, uh, you know, using the mouthpiece, using his mouth, using the trumpet, using the, you know, the keys uh, on the trumpet and just not traditional playing at all, at all, not even close. And take what you just heard in the beginning of the song and then multiply it by 10. And that's Jeff Kaiser. Uh, so check it out. You will find them on Spotify. Oh, if you go to that, if you just find my video, the links to his music are there. So that makes it easy. Just go down to the very beginning of my uh, videos list and just look up a week or two and you'll see him. Jeff Kaiser. Anyways, that well, I was thinking about him during a, that whole first part of the song with that trumpet just wailing uh, really reminded me of him. But anyways, that was uh, not what I expected. Uh, I, and now I'm kind of bummed it didn't go on and I made a mistake and didn't play the extended long version because I'm curious now to know what it's going to do. Dang it. Arr! I guess I'll have to find out. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. That was a very interesting request. I did enjoy that. Um, really, you know, like I said, you, you you enjoy music when you hear it and you take it for what it is and try to feel what what the musicians and the and the composer was trying to um you know tell you and yet in that telling of the story it's sort of you hit you you sort of your imagination awakens and you start developing the story as it's being told <laughs> in your own mind it's it's weird it's such a, a privilege to have a brain that can be creative and think like that man so cool music is just the catalyst that really gets me going um not that in my thoughts or anything's you know i'm not einstein and just having fun in there so, can you tell <laughs> oh boy i'm just having fun in there all right guys well thank you so much hey if you're new here and you're still here if you're still here then you deserve to have a subscription to this channel push that red button and click that bell and you will be notified whenever i drop another spectacular reaction right to your own mailbox not to your door i'm not going to come deliver it myself i'm not going to hand it to you but it'll come to your computer when you open it on go on to youtube and i'm going to give you that service so you deserve it you should subscribe you should you deserve a subscription and i'm going to give you one for free that's right it's my gift to you and uh also like this video if you would please help me with a little algorithm shenanigans and give it a like and we'll see you guys in the next video. Also check out my Patreon and my Ko-Fi as well if you want to make some recommendations or join me on a different platform with a little different format. Alrighty, thank you so much. We'll see you in the comments. Bye-bye.